In the years of the Civil War, Emily Dickinson reached her greatest heights as a poet. She wrote furiously in those years, at a pace and intensity unmatched before or after, nearly a poem a day. I Aside from a few mostly anonymous verses, she remained unpublished. When she died, her poems were discovered. Some of the strangest, most fascinating poems ever written. Her work of this period has been called a great and classic descent into a personal inferno. So climb aboard. Yet, due to her you life of seclusion, Dickinson has not traditionally been considered a war poet. And every Most people do not think of Emily Dickinson as a voice with the power to speak for a nation. I'm going to write hundreds, thousands of poems right here in this room. The greatest poems ever written by Emily Dickinson. And there is nothing you can do to stop me. When I'm with you, that is the only time I feel alive. I write for you. I write for you. That's a comfort. I'm so proud of you. You're the only thing in my life I'm proud of right now. Sisters, you can count on me. I want to love you. I know I've always been very hard on you about marriage. You don't deserve to feel unwell. I didn't carry you into this world for that. This is a very dark time. There is nothing that matters to me more than the people gathered here tonight. And all I want to do is find a way to keep hope alive. For you. A country at war! Divided. The men are falling. This is a statement about isolation and security. That's not Emily, by the way. No. Ah! I shut my eyes and all the world Cool. Well, we're gonna go. Probably back to 1862. Let's party. My platonic friend.
committed to hands I cannot see for love of her sweet countrymen. Judge tenderly of me.